And I could always... Can I not just warn you? <laughs> no, I can't warn him because he's... Okay. Anyway, end of the year, we turn off our bribing of these two. Oh, we're hitting the cap. Um, 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 um... No, I'll do more dev. So trade things. We're pushing this one up to... Proclaim Galarin... No, but that doesn't mean... Then I can't declare on him myself to steal it. So that's not, that's not an answer. I could push this one. God, it will be expensive because it's a mountain. Turn off these two. Turn it on here. Yeah, that gets it significantly closer. In fact, if we also pretended that we're close enough to this to warrant using that... Now it's close enough to level up in the future. Now it's actually level up, levelable upable. September. We can swap that back to the correct one now that we got rid of the um the problems with estate statutory rights. Turn on our forts if we're going to steal the land from these people when they're unhappy. And maybe have half our people over here. Our trade ships need to split off from our combat ships and get back to their correct and proper job of earning me money. Thank you. When was the truce with Scotland? March of 81, so we're still easily... Easily got a couple of years of training before that. That should be enough morale. Steal the land. Oh, we're grumpy. Uh, yeah, you can walk there. And you can teleport there. I'd, I'd prefer to just work my way all the way up as I can now. Like, sell it off to start with and then work your way back. Unless you really, really need the cash. If you desperately need the cash, which direction are you going? The boats might even get there before they do. No. Hmm. Wait for the others. It's... It would probably take them longer than the month to get there anyway. Yeah. So we might as well wait for the others. Corruption or stab. We're still poor enough that the corruption is cheaper. Hmm. Probably about now. And then those can be reinforcements. Yep, that's pretty good timing. And then both of you come down here and train. No, I'll gain the mill points. I guess we might need to pay down some of our inflation. No, we've still got pretty low inflation. Oh yes, I was meant to stop that. Whoops. And instead get back to maybe integrating you if we're about to do the reconquest war. Yeah, that makes sense. Integrate Galdum if we're about to do the Reconquest War. Maybe get my last claim on the other bit of Denmark, or do we assume that we're going to steal this next? Yeah, we assume we're going to steal that next, and I don't need more claims. Uh, 
Then what what do with our diplomat? Rebribe our friends. There's always work to be done rebribing our friends. Ah, the Pope first. Pope, you owe me more Pope points. Done. Speed up. The fort gets rid of this. Thank you, then we can turn all our forts off. Um, I would like to think so, but they don't particularly like that I'm friends with Muscovy. Although now that I have agreed to hate Bohemia, they might, um, change their mind about that. Good, we're making money again instead of losing it. Uh, I will fight the peasants instead of paying ducats. Where are they going to occur? In three places. One is Lund. So if I turn on that fort, that solves that. One is in... Bergenhus. Bergenhus. Uh. Oh, B E uh, Berg, not Berg. Uh, Bergenhus, okay. And the other one is where? Elfsborg. Presumably where the elves come from. Okay. Give that two months. One. Two. I'll fight you. Bring it. They're only peasants. Good. You need to wait till you've reinforced and perhaps even for another unit. Bergen was a pretty important trade city when it was under the Hansa League. Okay. I I didn't know this was Hansen at some stage. Peasants fight like trash. Then they fix it, and then the transports bring them over here. And then we fix that, and then we trade. Uh, turn off our forts and train. Done. But it's also almost time to move over to do Scotland. Scotland is preparing to attack someone. Good for you. Have you played too much, um... Oh, what's the... The trading game? Not, not the Anno one, but the other one. Ugh. Anyway, that you know about all the Hansa cities. Patrician. Patrician is what I'm thinking of. Come over here. England hasn't even taken his troops home. It's just like, we like hanging out in Norway. Sure, tech cost and institution embracement cost comes down. Which, considering that I'm trying to pay for the institution embracement... Yes, that's also where I'm, I, I'm remembering it from. Not gonna lie... Uh, I guess I'll turn off my maintenance because we're trying to save up to... 
Ooh, 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 actually. What, what, what? Oh, that's probably because of the estates. Yeah, so let's do this. See if we can't make the nobles happy. No. Mm, I could do that one. Mm, I'm going to have to pick that one. They're at least closer to being happy, but... Hmm. And as for the Danish, we can fix them with some strategic autonomy increasing. Oh, I didn't realise that was part of a thing that should be full stated. Boo hiss. We wasted some autonomy there. Oh well. Hmm. There's not a lot more I can do about that. I suppose my units will have to come back. Where are they going to occur? I should turn on my fort then. Yeah, I'm lucky I turned on the fort. Very lucky that I turned on the fort. Turn on our maintenance. You need a reminder of why you love us. Okay, by the time you get there, you'll probably have had two more morale ticks. Okay. I want to be very sure that you've had two more morale ticks. Good, and then come back. No, attacking is our strength. Guess I turn this on and do the two dev. Turn off what ones I can. Oh, and that's now affordable. Done. And then before our points cap out, yoink. Yoink. Slow down. And then these these need to come across and do Scotland. And yes, that looks like it's going to take forever, and it's only going to get longer when this happens. These these two are reconquested, but uh, I'd rather build the trade depot. I'm sorry. But it will also get faster when our king dies and is replaced by someone who is legitimate instead of just some guy who said, Denmark sucks! Make me king! <laughs> and everyone said, Well, we really do hate Denmark, so I guess... I guess that's alright. Yeah, let's speed it up a little bit. Can we get you friendly? Austria's even friendly at the moment. Uh, I don't see a reason to not do this. As long as Poland doesn't hate you, and he doesn't. Cool, and then we replace Galdum with Sweden, and we're probably a happy Vegemite. There are disloyal estates. In Denmark, you have a TDE program which is only to find funny and interesting clips from Danish TV. It is so good. So, like, they find funny clips of other TV shows or, like, ads or news. 
Yes, we'll marry Austria. Oof. Because if it's just like... Not from ads. We have one or two show that it shows that are dedicated... Well, we have had across the, the, you know, the last 10 years, one or two shows that were dedicated to, um, a either ad theory and good ads, or sort of discussing them. Um, local news, not so much. And there used to be a show when people could send in, um, videos that you took yourself of, like, you and your family accidents happening. Um, so maybe, like... You know, funny, funny personal jokes that you would record with a video camera. Take seven. Oh, Iberian wedding. They have gotten everyone. They got the whole kit and caboodle. But local news, not, not, not so much. Uh, what month? March, so barely two more months. Let's go block the crossing. <laughs> Group together. Okay. Truce with Scotland is ended. War with Scotland is begun. I want these two things back. Give. It's also his capital, so it's actually a surprisingly challenging fort to get. Was that? I thought Novgorod did something, but no. Nothing important, at least. And then he comes and helps here, and we win. Now, how long till we can afford the aggressive expansion mitigation? No time soon. Well, it will get soon once we... Because we've embraced the institution now. Uh... We're going to get the uh, bonus for 7, 8, 9. Actually, I need to leave one of those over there. Because otherwise, if we suffer attrition ticks, we get stuffed up. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? I've forgotten. Eh. Can't have been too important. Can't have been too important. Austria, I can give you access for 10 more love. Poland. How about that marriage? Not yet, but that's probably a yes when he integrates Danzig. So that's fine. That won't take very long, right? Ooh, six years, they're surprisingly chunky for two provinces. Uh, how about we don't risk our king? Do we not have... Uh, general general? No. Well, so be it. Any PUs we could be getting? Sexy Lonberg, Jelray or Lundberg? So not really. This is also almost finished again. Now. Most of the land that we've taken up to now has been already a sister culture. But if I'm going to eat England eventually and do things like that, do I want the... 
Do I want the extra cultures more than I want the autonomy down? I suppose I can do the autonomy down for now, and if we ever end up needing the extra cultures, I can just abandon that. Yeah, the autonomy down is more useful for now. We've still got a fair bit of autonomy in a lot of places. Oh, our wifey died. So, autonomy down. And what? Hmm. Loop around with our friends. Speed up. Let's just wait for that siege to be done. Burgundy are face planting into France. No, France is attacking Burgundy. And he has a baby, so it's not like it's going to trigger the um the inheritance. Yeah, Savoy. They've got you surrounded, my friend. And you chose to ally Jelra and Len Lannister. <clears throat> no, no, no. You need to ally like Austria. And you aren't rivaled to them, or else Castile, which you are rivaled to. Or more accurately, they rival you. Oh well. Bye bye, Burgundy. Oh. Gain the dip points, but we also need to send another unit over. When's the truce with Denmark? Five more years. An incompetent cousin. What? What? Our incompetent cousin here. Our dearly beloved cousin that rules over one of our subject states has proven to be an incompetent buffoon. Try to find a better one. Try to find a better incompetent buffoon. Uh, no. The, the 202 is better than the 030. Not a lot better, but enough. Enough better. I could start pre-raising with Sweden under the assumption that we're going to make him our minion at the end of that next war. We're about to hit this cap, but we did have a problem in that we had no generals. So, roll a general. He even has a siege pip. Not quite what I intended to do. But we'll live. <clears throat> done. So we eat up these two provinces. We blow up his boats for the fun of it. Slash the naval experience. Slash the prestige. So return these two. Otherwise a short truce is fine. 
the better to finish full annexing you, my dear. These should come home. And sit around and train until it's time for the war with Denmark to steal Sweden. Turn off the forts because we don't need them. Mm, yes, we can do a little bit more of this still. But not too much more. Else we're going to start to get disbalanced tech. Also, it's kind of time for you to step down, King. The legitimacy must be at least 50. Okay. Spend down the trust. Spend down one trust. Curry favours for more trust. These should be training. Merge train. Well, at the moment, I'm thinking, oops, Milcap, that we maybe even uh, just PU England rather than conquering it. Like, we might go for Ireland, but then try and get England the friendly way. Can't push that one anymore. That one's already above 15. So is that one. And there's none others that we control. I could just roll some generals for the um, professionalism. Or we could dev push our capital a little bit. There. What if we tried to take everything in the North Sea node? Mm, then he hates us. And he doesn't have any centers of trade, so I don't really care. That I will try and take, though. Have you got your claims on it all yet? Ah, there we go. He has got his claims on everything. He's finally reached enough manpower. Who do we pick for our next rival? Uh, I'm not being given very sensible choices here. I guess Burgundy, because Burgundy are getting their shit kicked in. Coal? What? What? Oh! Yeah, I could start thinking about which provinces have coal. That's true. I tend to forget about that because my campaigns are normally done before coal. Uh, so we have to look for the shiny blue ones. No, there are no shiny blue ones. Not for us. Well, actually that one. But that's Scotland still. No coal for us. Uh, Miltech or admin tech or... Diptech. Probably admin, because that's the one that we're the most behind on. And now you're idle, because there's literally nothing for you to do. In terms of our friends, go curry with Muscovy. I could claim adjacent to claim and eat Muscovy 
turn on Muscovy uh, and eat Novgorod and then reconquest Novgorod by turning on Muscovy for Poland. How big are you? Because you have plus 100% goods produced, yeah. He's like 60k all by himself. Actually, I could just keep Musc uh, Muscovy as a friend and ask for the provinces back. <laughs> yup, we're totally doing that. Who needs to reconquest when you can get the provinces back friendly? The only thing that we'll have to do is maybe make sure to take them in order that they expire. Oh, but almost all of them are Novgorodian. Almost all of them are his correct culture, so they... He's never going to lose almost all of those cores. There's three here. And two there. So these. And those ones. But the rest he keeps forever. Oh, and there's a bit of perm. Baja California should become part of the USA. Like, in what sense? Like, a... It is morally right for it to become part of the USA? Or it makes geopolitical sense? Or I want it to. I have no strong feelings about the little leggy bit of California. I don't see why it can't stay Mexican. Do -do -do -do. Honestly, if anything, I'd want Mexico to be big Mexico again. The burgers gain the entire tea of California was conquested from Mexico. I think you mean for Mexico by the Spanish. The burgers gain 10 loyalty. Yes. Culturally, it's incredibly different. Is it closer to... The question is, is it closer to the US? And then secondly, okay... Have they had some sort of, like, independence vote like Catalonia here? If, if, they, if they individually want to join, I don't see why not. But those sorts of things haven't gone well lately. You go look at Catalonia. Well, some of them have gone well. The, um, the stupid little French island that's just up and right of Australia had a vote this year about, or last year, about becoming its own country, and they said no, they'd rather stay French. Do some more dev. Which surprised me, because most of the time, those little nations want to become independent. <laughs> this bit It would make for such prettier borders How can they disagree? Call back Get access through Muscovy so that we can eat Novgorod So I eat this one for me and vassalize what's left. Oh, 
When's my piece? Oh, my piece is even longer than the Denmark one. Well, I feel silly. I feel very silly. We still will try and do that, though. The entire Mekong Delta needs to be one nation. I mean, clearly just every continent should be its own nation. Australia's got, you know, Australia, we've got that down. We're one continent and we're one nation. You, you Americans need to lift your game. You claim to be America, but there's all these other cu countries in the continent of America. It sounds to me like you need to do some more manifest destining. You left the job half done. <laughs> hmm. I might as well start fabricating now so that we get faster spy speed and then after that war we will be able to have all the claims we need. Who would be the leader of Europe? Uh, uh, don't you mean of Afro-Eurasia? <laughs> the leader of Afro-Eurasia would probably have to be China, wouldn't it? They're very firmly grounded. I thought Poland, uh, I thought Hungary's got all sorts of problems with um, right right wing people at the moment, and they're disagreeing with the uh, EU government a lot. Do, 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 do. So we come down here and then we start training. I don't need my claim on Sutherland. It's not like it makes it cheaper to integrate them. And then I need infinite favours with Muscovy. Train. Even get some cannons. That's how rich we are. Because Rotterdam is the most important port in Europe. I know, but we were saying in Afro-Eurasia. Afro so wouldn't that be Shandong? Or uh, Hong Kong? I think they have more more goods traffic than uh, than these guys. I think China sees a lot more goods traffic. I would like to take that, but we need to catch up on this. And if we do this one, it also gives us access to another idea group. Bonus extra tax. Mm, I will buy that mercantilism. So I want Vietnam to own what? Si Raban? Oh, Southeast Asia. 
Raban. What's Raban, though? I don't know Raban. Uh, gain meal points. No, that's not worth... Oh, this event is basically the exact same as the other one, but it's just a different fort. I do kind of want the manpower, though. Am I really willing to pay 150 ducats for 5,000 manpower? I suppose it's also fort defense for 20 years. Fine, it's fort defense for 20 years. Let's look at it that way. Also the money. Also... This. I'm out of... Ugh, I'm out of places to spend it on. Where can I spend it? I could roll another general. There. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Come on, be nice. Be nice to each other, peoples. Be friendly, peoples. There's enough nasty shit in the world without adding more to it. No, England! Don't do it! No! That was going to be mine. Oh well. He wants to connect up here to here. Good for you. Ooh, no. They've gone militarist and they suddenly say, I want Scotland. Hmm. That's potentially a little dangerous. Hey. Um, I don't see what Endraft said as being like It's factually describing what the situation in Poland is. He's not he wasn't being nasty at a person. I think that that's reasonable. Um, this is what we've been targeting. We've targeted Denmark and we've targeted Scotland. Like if he was... he He's, he's you know, that's a statement of fact. That is sort of... It's a statement of fact in a way that is perhaps not the most politically sensitive way to say it, but it's a statement of fact that that's sort of what's happening in Poland. So, I, I don't really have... I don't take issue with it. I would suggest maybe he think about how he word things to prevent, to prevent causing offence, but I don't think that it was intended offensively or that it's... Yeah, it wasn't d directed at a person, so... Look how they massacred my boy. No, not at a person. At an individual person. And that, yeah, it does seem to be how the gov Polish government see it, which is a bit ick, but if, if the people are voting for them, you know, other people are allowed to be <laughs> sort of insensitive jerks if that's, that's what they believe, and the way that you deal with it is you just, okay, you stay over there, and I'll stay over here, and you can be nasty people over there, and I choose to have nothing to do with you. That's the way that you deal with it. Ooh. 
England did eat up Scotland, sadly. Da -da -da -da. Do I just roll some more of these? No, there, there's got to be some cheap dev that we can do. One, two. One, two. Yeah. <laughs> Have a lovely day, Elements. As best you can. One, two. One, two. Hey, Endraft. Not cool. Not cool. Slash timeout. That's when you started targeting an individual person. Yeah? That's not that's not cool. Now, when's the truce? October. July, August, September, October. 5 more months. Yeah, maybe you don't mind, but there might be other people that do mind. And, like, when you target a person is really, for me, when it, it's just not cool. That's not what I want my chat to be. I'm, I'm very much of a, if you can't think of anything nice to say, just don't say anything kind of mindset. Slow down. September. And then call back from Denmark because we're already detected anyway and we'll be ready to declare. Uh, at the moment, this is my job. Kind of. Uh, what jobs have I had? I've been a marine acoustician, a research scientist. Um, Computational vibroacoustics type stuff. Um, I've been a stable hand. I've been a pizza delivery boy. I've been very, very briefly like gardening, uh, landscaping sort of stuff. Ready, steady. Do I want England? I think I do want England here. Yeah, I've been a tutor at um, unis. Um, Substitute lecturer. Um, do, 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 what not? The substitute lecturing was really good fun. <laughs> Running practicals. Um, do, 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 do. Yep. The rest can hop on the boat and then come across to Finn, I guess. No, yeah, um, so I used to take a third level, a third year practical at uni, and I was a teacher for that for like six or seven years. And, oh, not kids, not kid kids. Like, uni students, yes. If they're not at least high school age, it, I, I'm not good with little, little kids. <laughs> I get too impatient, <laughs> is the polite way of putting it. I get too impatient with little, little kids. Uh, like I have the I have the adult thing on my channel for a number of reasons, um, one of which I don't want to get. I do occasionally swear. I try not to, as a rule, but I don't want to get any uh, kid kids in trouble with my swearing. But also, sort of topics covered and discussed sometimes. And yes, I'm maybe not the best at always dealing with kids. So if I put that warning up, I feel a bit safer about that.
Oi, Gavolts, you're so the klutz that you could blots. Now, do I catch and release on Novgorod? I don't suppose I mind giving him that one province back. And it will save me some... Well, will it save me net dip? No, I think it would cost me net dip, so I don't do that. We just eat him as he is. Can I... I could also steal a province here and release Scotland, and then ask England to give the Scotland bits back. Yeah, I think we do that at the end of this war. <laughs> oh yeah, it sounds super legitimate, doesn't it? <laughs> super legitimate. <laughs> it's not even slightly suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm not so young that I was born yesterday, you know. Whatever my youthful looks might suggest. What is England doing? Sitting over here. So let's just piece this out so he stops... ...mulching about over here. Uh, no, the war score thing is province cost. Personal Union CBs always cost... They, they never cost more than 80%. So it doesn't matter how big someone is, you can always personal union them. Do -do -do -do. I'm very tolerant. Yes and no. As I said, I, you know, when, when it became a personal attack, no, that's not cool. And certainly inciting violence, like... Um, so this is a discussion that actually comes up a fair bit is, um, you know, right to free speech, and what does that mean? And to me, I am certainly a believer in the right to free speech in terms of, like, political stuff, but the point where you start inciting violence against another group is the point where I say you no longer have a right to free speech that supersedes the right to safety of those people. Yeah. Ah, uh, but it is it is province war score cost. In the same way that um like Aboriginal ideas gives minus province war score cost, in the same way that the age bonus gives the age bonus in the next age gives minus twenty province war score cost against wrong religions. It isn't just all war score cost. Like you couldn't have a um revoke core. So say this... No, that's not a good example. Say there's... This province, right? It is, it only, it's only 4%. Um, it's only 4%. And if you asked to revoke it, it would cost less than 4% to do that. But just because you've got minus 10% cost doesn't make that cost zero. Uh, no, I don't want the... Cousin claims chair in Norway... Our weak hold on the throne of Norway has made our cousin's claim stronger, and that bastard is claiming the throne should be theirs. It would be easy to, propose, to depose our cousin, but better for the peace if they can be bribed to retract their claim. What? Well, I certainly don't want a 2-1-0. I don't care how legitimate they are. No. Just no. <laughs> I'll pay a hundred ducats to not have that crappy ruler. Oh, 
And now England have actually made their way across. They're being genuinely helpful. Speed back up. We'll continue currying with England under the return, return Scotland theory. And there's nothing more to defend here. We'll wait until it has a couple of ticks of um, garrison and then head over to get you. Who he has done some development in the meantime. But not enough to stop us. Thankfully, Stockholm doesn't have a real fort, so we don't have to leave all our actual troops here. Just leave them nearby enough that Sweden doesn't think about actually sieging or attacking us back. And then we say, how much does it cost to steal Sweden in terms of aggressive expansion? We already saw that we can do it in terms of war score, but how much does it how much does it cost in terms of aggressive expansion? Do, do, do. It costs 77, but basically only Denmark care because they're the only person of that culture group. Uh, do we give chase? Let's go give chase. I don't want my provinces sieged down. I don't need war exhaustion. Can I not get you to join? I'm in debt, says Muscovy. Back to currying then. Uh, have I built a workshop there? No, we probably should, right? Yes, very much so. Are there any more worth doing? Lund? That one? That one will be in a month or two? No, I, I am not a drama llama. I want life to be undramaful. At least real life. I don't mind drama in, you know... Fictional setting. Mm. Looks like we have scared him off. I'm going to need all the war score because it's 100%. These could also hide during war. 